Hi, this is Carlos Cousins. This is a writing question that is asking us to consider the validity of the underlined portion of a given sentence. So for this sort of problem, the first thing you want to do is read the sentence to yourself, try to put yourself in the shoes of the person that might originally have said or written this sentence, and then immediately consider the answer choices, um, trying to see which might be right. So let's go ahead and do those things together. During his lifetime, A. Baumgartner published his only successful no novel, since such is the case, not many of his works remain in print. So the idea is that while he was alive, Baumgartner published only one successful no novel, uh, just one. And that means that not many of his works are available to people because he only published one. So anything else that he might have written wasn't published when he was alive. Um, so now that we have the idea of what the sentence is trying to say in mind, let's go ahead and consider the answer choices. During his lifetime, A. Baumgartner published only one successful novel. Since such is the case, not many of his works remain in print. Well, the problem that we have here is this part of the sentence can stand alone as its own sentence. And we have a comma here. Um, and when we have a clause in a sentence that can stand alone as its own sentence, it becomes a run-on unless you use and. Uh, that doesn't mean that you can cure the plague of the run-on in all of your papers by putting and wherever comma is locate, located. But for the purposes of this exam, um, this tends to help out a lot. So since we don't see and here, this doesn't look like a good answer choice. Um, and it can stand alone as its own sentence, of course. Let's go ahead and consider the next one. We already see and here, and and here. So let's go ahead and see why uh, one might be right or over the other. So during his lifetime, A. Baumgartner published only one successful novel, and not so many of his works remain in print. Uh, and oh, and so not many of his works remain in print, sorry. So this makes sense in that so gives us the same idea that since did. Um, so because he only published one successful novel during his lifetime, not many of his works remain in print. So this seems like a good answer choice so far. Let's go ahead and consider the next one. And not many of his works remain in print because of that. Uh, well, the problem then here becomes, what is that referring to? And I think it's intuitive that that is actually referring to the fact that Baumgartner published only one successful novel, but this isn't as concise a way of saying it. We want the best answer possible. Um, and so accomplishes that a little bit better. So that's why this one doesn't work. Um, not, okay, during his lifetime, a Baumgartner published only one successful novel. Not many of his works remain in print as a result. Again, this can stand alone as its own sentence, so we don't have and. Um, and this last one, during his lifetime, uh, A. Baumgartner published not only one successful novel, the number of his works remaining in print is not many for this reason. Again, uh, standing alone as its own sentence. Uh, so, that... Uh, that doesn't make sense either. I hope that that helps to explain why this is the right answer. Happy prepping.